Family Theater presents Adolf Manjou. From Hollywood, the Mutual Network, in cooperation with Family Theater, presents The Continental Cowboy. To introduce the drama, here is your host, Adolf Manjou. Thank you, Tony LaFrano. Family Theater's only purpose is to bring to everyone's attention a practice that must become an important part of our lives if we are to win peace for ourselves, peace for our families, and peace for the world. Family Theater urges you to pray, pray together as a family. And now to our drama, The Continental Cowboy. Yes, folks, there's a tremendous crowd here jamming Hollywood Boulevard, and a great occasion it is, the world premiere of Sagebrush Sam's newest picture, Sand in My Saddlebag. In just a few minutes now, oh, there's Ronald Coleman and his wife, and behind them, let's see, it's Mr. and Mrs. Cornell Wilde. And now, yes, it is, it's Sagebrush Sam and his horse, Gunpowder. Oh, I can't stand at these screaming mobs. What happened? Hello. Yeah. No, I will not endorse any Sagebrush Sam sewing machines. Hello. No, I will not make a personal appearance at the Mississippi Valley Plumbers Convention. No, I will not. Oh, hello, HB. But it wasn't a publicity gag. I galloped off because I'm at the end of my lariat. My contract with you is up as of January 1st, so I'm turning in my six shooters, my blank cartridges, and that crummy nag. I'm going to greet the new year as just plain Sam Duran. I'm going away, HB. I don't know where. Any place where sagebrush Sam can slip quietly out with the old year. <laughs> Bonjour, monsieur. You wish accommodations? Yes. This is the third hotel I've tried. Oh, c'est très difficile. Paris is always gay and crowded, especially so close to New Year's. But I have just the thing for you. A room empty. Empty? Well, say, that's fine. I'll take it. Uh, it will be 6,200 francs a day, plus service, plus tax. Uh, if you will sign the register, your uh -huh. name. Monsieur Sam Durant. And here the address... Hollywood. You are from Hollywood, monsieur. Ah, that is a place I would like to see. Ah, you must leave. Yes, we must. Uh, is there some place I can get a good cup of coffee? It's been a long trip. Oui, monsieur. Come with me. The cafe is right in here. Oh, thanks. You will like Carl the waiter. Very friendly. Carl, attendez. Oui? C'est monsieur Durand. Monsieur is from Hollywood. Uh, Carl will take care of you, monsieur. Your bags will be in your room. Uh, how long you will be staying with us? Well, let's see. This is 1951. I'm... 35 years old. My life expectancy is 65. That's 30 years, isn't it? Carl, coffee, please. Coffee au lait, monsieur? Mm -hmm. uh, coffee, uh, cream and sugar. Coffee au cream. Yes, of course, monsieur. Well, you will excuse me, please. I must get back. Uh, 30 years and 6,200 francs a day plus service. Plus... Here you are, monsieur. Oh, thanks. <sighs> yeah, it tastes good, Carl. Merci. Uh, you know this uh, Hollywood of yours, monsieur? It is uh, through your uh, cinema pictures that uh, ones like myself know what America is like. No? Oh? Well, what is it like? Well, uh, it's like a desert, uh, only with hills and trees and grass. <laughs> <laughs> and the people, uh, some are uh, cowboys, some are Indians. <laughs> Tell me, do they still have Indians in California, monsieur? Huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, a few. Oh. Only most of them are in New York. Oh. They, uh... Call them scalpers. Oh, that is the making off of the hairline. We yeah. <laughs> hey, oui, myself, I go to all the Hollywood Indian and cowboy pictures. <laughs> Come to think of it, you remind me. 
Carl, don't look at me that way. Monsieur? He is you! Uh, uh, I look at you and leave my head. I had on a ten liter hat, a mustache, a horse, and voila, what do we have? We have big mouths. Sage brush salmon himself in Paris for the holiday. Oh, bon ami! Oh, monsieur! Regardez! Monsieur Sage brush Sam! Oh, no, not in Paris, too. Gentlemen! And gentlemen, Carl has made the faux pas. I am not Sage Brush Sam. Je ne comprends pas l'anglais. Mais vive Sage Brush Sam. Vive Sage Brush Sam. Un petit verre. Only we'll go to blazes. You and your large mouth, Carl. Get me a taxi. Oui, oui, Monsieur Sage Brush. I knew you would rather have a Pinto Mustang. But again, in Paris, we have no such. Carl, I like you. In fact, I would like to show you a part of the old west. You would, Monsieur? Yes. There's a lovely spot called Death Valley. Just the place for you. Now get that cab. Monsieur. Ah, uh, I don't know yet. Just start driving. Uh, wait, 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 monsieur. Well, if you don't have any place in your head, monsieur, you, you might like to visit the Palais de Hollywood. Huh? Just like Hollywood America, I, I guess. Look, I want a place just not like in Hollywood America. But you, you do not like it there. Look, tell me, did you ever get so sick and tired of being gawked at, chased by little children, endorsing breakfast cereals, riding horses all day? I did, did, did I ever get tired of that? Yes. No. Well, you would. Oh, speaking of riding horses reminds me, my taxi, I have named Gunpowder. Gunpowder? Ah, oui, 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 oui. After the horse which is driven by the American cowboy, Sage Brooks Sam. Oh, that should make the horse very happy. Now, let me take me back to the hotel and let's get up about it. I oh, Gunpowder! Say, uh, Carl. Oui? Uh, the very beautiful young lady at the table to my left. Who is she? Who is she? Well, let me put it this way. Who is she? Monsieur, that is Lisette. And who is Lisette? The lady you just asked about. No, no, no. I mean the way you said her name, as if she were a famous race car driver or something. Oh, no, 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 monsieur. Lisette is the star of the French cinema. There's something about her. Even blind, you would know that. Uh, the little boy sitting with her. Her son? No, monsieur. It is one of our little guests from uh, Chez les Enfants. Huh? Monsieur, she's walking toward you. Yeah. Oh, they say the French men are the world's greatest lover. <laughs> oh, monsieur. Bonsoir, Mademoiselle Lisette. Bonsoir, Carl. <coughs> Hello. Uh, hello. You're Lisette. Carl told me. And you, Sagebrush Sam. Nobody told me. Oh. Please, Sam Durant. I'm trying to turn over a new leaf. Uh, will you sit with me? Oh, no. I came to ask you to join us. Well, I don't know why not. Let's go. The uh, little boy. Carl said he was a friend? Yes, a very good little friend. Uh -huh. He is the reason that I was so bold to speak to you. Ah, uh, I was afraid it would be something like that. I am very popular with women who have children. Small, mean children. Oh, Jacques is not mean. See, si, I think he recognizes you already. Yeah. Jacques, do you know who this is? Oh, yes. It is Monsieur Sagebrush Sam. I must be having a dream. <laughs> well, thank you, Jacques. However you meant it. Well, I mean, I'm glad. Wait until I tell my friends. Please sit down. Oh, thanks. I will come right to the point. As you know, Monsieur Durand, all your pictures are shown in Paris. The children here admire you as the American children do. Yeah, I'm finding that out. And Jacques lives chez les enfants. It is a home for orphans. Mm. The day after tomorrow, New Year's Day, we have arranged a big entertainment for the children. They have so little to keep them happy. Will Monsieur Sagebrush be there, Mademoiselle Lisette? Will he? Will you, Monsieur? It would mean so much. Uh, no rest for the wicked or Sagebrush Sam, huh? I'll make you a deal. You be my date New Year's Eve, I'll go to the orphanage New Year's Day. You have a deal. Swell. We can go someplace and dance. <laughs> yes. We can have the orchestra play Home on the Range. Oh, no. <laughs> You haven't stepped on my toes once. You must have danced with Americans before. Oh, I have. Yes, I've danced with Americans before. Lucky Americans. 
You know, I think I've seen you before. There are many faces like mine, but it is not likely that you have seen me. Uh -huh. But I see you now. Merci. I like the way you say that. A line from one of your pictures? <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. The last five years, my leading lady has been a horse. Let's get back to our table. Huh? It's almost 12 o'clock and our New Year's drink is waiting. All right. I enjoyed the dance. Now, here we are. Oh, Sam. Looks like we are going to have company. Huh? He's a friend of mine. He will want to meet you. Oh, he looks like a very large type of man, and I forgot my six guns. Oh, don't be silly. He's American. Ralph Jordan, a Hollywood columnist. Oh, swell. Just what I need. Publicity. Excuse me while I hide my champagne. Lizette, how are you? Anything scandalous going on this New Year's Eve, I hope? No. Monsieur Jordan, Monsieur Durand. Durant, Durant, as I live and breathe. April in Paris, sagebrush in blossom. May I sit down? Thank you. Nice to meet you, Mr. Jordan. Oh, come now. Shouldn't it be Howdy Podner or some other equally absurd salutation? Or maybe even Bonsoir, French in a cowboy draw? How droll. If you'll excuse us, Mr. Jordan, we have an appointment at Napoleon's tomb. Here, Wade, besides, you hadn't finished your drink yet. Uh, that is champagne, isn't it? You're being very rude. I thought you would be pleased to meet Monsieur Durand. But, darling, uh, I am, I am. What other columnist has ever seen Sagebrush Sam, the model cowboy drinking champagne at Sam? <clears throat> is that? No, it can't be. Yes, it is. You're smoking a cigarette. Oh, please. It's marvelous the way I'll write it up. Before long, they'll have Sagebrush Sam cigarettes, Sagebrush Sam vodka. Jordan, don't you consider anyone's reputation? Well, certainly, my own. And a story is a story, only this one's even better. But uh, please, excuse me a minute. I'm sure we will. Oh, Sam, I never thought... Obviously. When he comes back, maybe we can do something. Maybe. Oh, I should have gone to Tibet. If only I'd... <gasps> Come now, Lizette. Flash bulbs have gone off in your pretty little face before, and Sam's too. Just a little documentary evidence. What are you going to do with that picture? Send it with my column, of course. Poor Sagebrush Sam, celebrating New Year's without his big hat and fancy vest. Oh, Sam, let's get out of here. In a minute. Jordan, how much will you take to kill that story? You mean money? Anything you want. But, Sam, a scoop like this means prestige. The more prestige, the more money. Now I'll have to tell my loyal readers you tried to bribe me out of this. Jordan, if you send out that story... I'm... I know you'll throw six fast rounds of snarling lead through my heart. Then you'll get out your guitar and sing two choruses of Blue Tail Fly. Oh, Mr. Jordan, please, for me. There is nothing wrong with having one drink for New Year's. But you can make it look wrong with your cheap tricks. And it will be a dream that suffers. Is that? Don't be naive. Finding clay feet is my specialty. I think you're going to find you're going to have a clay nose. No, no, no. This isn't the wild and woolly west. This is the wild and woolly rue de la paix. Don't make like sagebrush Sam. So another two-bit cowboy bites the dust. Why, you... Uh, oh, Sam! You missed! You got the head waiter! Not this time! Are you all right? All right. Oh, certainly I'm all right. Who wouldn't be after spending New Year's Eve in a French jail? Back to the Bastille, starring Sagebrush Sam. Soon they'll be carting you off to the guillotine, I hope. Your head would roll nicely. Mm. They had to put Wrighton Boy in a cell directly across from me, too. Oh, pay no attention to him, Sam. Soon they will let you out of here. I am fixing it. You are fixing it, huh? Look, if I hadn't met you, I wouldn't need fixing Sam, I have many big friends in Paris. They are right now pulling the strings to get you out. Uh-oh. Him, they will keep tied up with red tape as long as possible. The American embassy is closed on New Year's Day. I don't mind. I can sit here and think of the story I'm going to write. Sagebrush Sam thrown in dungeon after brawl in French cabaret. Sam, I'll wait at your hotel. As soon as you get out, we will go to the orphanage. Oh, sure, great. Sorry I'm late, kids, but I just got out of jail a few minutes ago. Oh, no one will know. This will not get in the Paris papers. I don't know. Jordan, yours is just the type of body that should be found floating in the Seine. Ignore him, Sam. Well, you should have thought of that last night. Look, just go away, please. Tell the kids I was 
unexpectedly shot in the back. Oh, Sam, you can't let them down. Huh? Little Jack has told them that you are coming and they're uh, excited as New Year's. Oh, and I left Hollywood to get away from it all. Has Monsieur Durand come back here to the, the hotel yet? Uh, no, mademoiselle. Oh, he's coming now. Sam, you see? I told you they would let you out. Yeah, uh, the frying pan, yeah. Now lead me to the fire. Bonne année, monsieur. You wish the key to your room. You did not come in last night. Oh, I pay rent here and sleep in the jail. Eh? Oh, he jokes. He spent the night chez les enfants where today he's appearing in the entertainment. Ah, mais oui. That is a fine thing you do. The children of Paris love you as they do the children of America. Yeah. When a certain column appears, the children of America will love me like castor oil. Sagebrush Sam Castro. <laughs> From you, the children would take anything. Oh, come on, let's get this thing over with. Yes, we do not want to be late. There should be a taxi in front. And to think the other night you rode in my taxi and I did not recognize you. I forgive you. Sam, have you decided what you will say to the children? Well, I've had other things to think about. I'm not quite sure what to say. After all, they're French kids, oh, and Sam, I... Oh, Sam! They're kids! Huh? It doesn't matter where they come from. They're little children with their dreams and their heroes. Oh, all right, go ahead, rub it in. Tell me how much sagebrush Sam means to the kids back home. Tell me how they'll feel when Jordan's column hits the stand. Oh, maybe it won't matter. Oh, you know it will. So the kids don't read the papers, but it'll still get around. You know how little it takes to break a kid's pretty bubble? Ah, oh, they can't understand. Pardon, Monsieur Sagebrush, you sound like you have trouble. What has happened? I drank a glass of champagne. Yeah, well, but I, I thought in America everybody drank champagne on, on New Year's Eve. Yeah, yeah, everybody but Sagebrush Sam. What does he drink? Water. No. Nothing but water. No. Which he shares with his horse. Oh, it will be all right, Sam. Somehow, it will be all right. Oh, I don't see how, is that? Jordan's so mad now, he'd expose Santa Claus. Yes, he's very angry, and I feel responsible. Well, I got him in jail, not you. It's not your fault. Not mine either, really. Except that last day in Hollywood. You know, I didn't consider sagebrush Sam. Just Sam Durant. I never knew until now... How much that cowboy means to me. <laughs> I feel kind of lost without him. We're almost there. The children are waiting for Sagebrush. When you walk in, he'll be there. Yeah. Just like a kid. Thanks. Just like a kid. I meant it. Are you sure the kids will understand me in English? Oh, yes. They study English in the early grades. Besides, just looking at you will be enough. Voila, we are here. Uh -huh. Chez les enfants. Hey, you forgot to turn the meter on. Oh, no, 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 I did not forget. The charge would be about 370 francs. Uh, put it in the children's fund for me. Now, do you wish me to come back for you later when it is over? Oh, yes. We will call your stand at the hotel when we are ready. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. Well? We will go around the back way so you will not be mobbed. I still don't know. Why do you do all this for the kids? Why this interest in the orphanage? I lived here for many years. You grew up here? Well, no, not all the way. I was adopted and taken to America. Hmm. I wanted to be an actress. Five years ago, I got a beat in Hollywood. That's when you were starting, too. Uh, what happened? I could get no place, so I came back to France. Why don't you go back and try again? I'll talk to HB. I know a lot of producers and... Oh, I'm forgetting about Jordan. For me, Hollywood will probably turn the welcome mat over to the side that says scram. Don't worry for me. I will get back to America. Someday. <laughs> well, here is the back door to the stage. It is not really a stage. Just a room where the children can gather. Yeah. Monsieur Sagebrush. Hi. I have been waiting for you. Oh, Jacques, why, you look fine. Isn't that a new suit? Almost too, mademoiselle. Yesterday, a, a lady bought a great box of clothes that had become too small for her sons. Well... Madame Pirot gave me this one to wear on New Year's because it fits so well. <laughs> Except around the middle and the arms and the feet. Uh, it looks great. And tomorrow, Mademoiselle Lisette will fix it to fit just right. How do you know I can sew? Just do. Cook, too. Oh, monsieur. You would not allow a woman to cook at your campfire. Huh? Oh, you're right, Jacques. Campfires are for us men. Sam, 
Soon it will be turning dark, and I have an idea. Uh-huh. In a while, we will bring the children out in the yard where you will have a campfire going. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, Monsieur Sagebrush. My friends would like that. Well, okay, Jacques, we'll do it. All right, Smarty, you better find me some kerosene and matches. Oh, you are not in Hollywood now. Here, we rub two stones together. Mademoiselle, you have not told them of the magnificent costume we have gathered. Of course. Bring the box, Jacques. It is not exactly a sagebrush stamp suit, but it is the best we could do. Oh, yeah? Well, let me see. French cavalry boots, a cutaway vest, ski pants, and what's this? A ten-gallon beret. Well, you can leave <laughs> out the hat. Oh, you need a big bandana. Well, it's sagebrush Sam's last stand. He is surrounded by Jordans, so he might as well go down with his costume, huh? Who are the Jordans? Oh, uh, they are the bad men, Jacques. Their arrows are poison and they aim for the heart. But they cannot kill Sagebrush Sam. He will live forever. Yeah. At least for today. Now go away, both of you. Let me change. Then I'll go out and build that fire. Yeah, that should do it. Uh, hope nobody's watching. I sure could use a prop man about now. There we go. Oh, hi, Cabby. Uh, Mrs. Sagebrush, am I in time? Oh, yeah, sure. Did you get them? W when you called, you said hurry, so I hurry. I, I could not get any of the hot dogs, but I guess sausage, which look very much alike. <laughs> the first time I ever heard of roasting sausages over a campfire. Well, I guess the kids won't mind. Oh, they will be so delighted they will not care if it was anchovy. Uh, pull up a log and sit down. You should be coming out pretty soon. Well, 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 isn't this tender, complete with campfire at no additional cost? Nobody invited you, Jordan. Go away, finish up your story. It is finished and filed. It will go on the night wire. I heard Lizette talking about this little blowout in jail this morning. Couldn't resist dropping around. Now look, at least be decent enough not to mess this up, will you? Sure, sure. I want this to be perfect. After all, it is your swan song. Silence! Silence, mes enfants! Now I am happy to present a wonderful American from Hollywood, United States. You all know him. And you know what he represents is what is good and right anywhere. In Paris, in Athens, in London, anywhere. Monsieur Sagebrush Sam. Thanks. Thanks, partners. You know, you know, this is the first roundup of 1952, and, well, it's about the most important I've ever had. Sometimes a cowboy, or most anybody at all, gets to thinking, mainly about himself. He gets tired of the saddle and forgets that maybe folks are counting on him. And then something happens. You see, this hombre named Sagebrush Sam... But you are Sagebrush Sam. Yeah, little Jock. But remember, Sagebrush Sam is really more than me. While I'm standing here talking, he's really out somewhere riding the range, or wherever you want him to be. No matter what, he'll always be wherever and whatever you want him to be. Well, I... I don't want to talk any longer. We got some grub here to cook, and I think we could find some mighty good songs to sing. How about it? They loved you, Sam. Yeah. See how slowly they go back in, each one taking a final long look. Uh, monsieur, do you wish me to take you back now? Huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll be out to the cab in a minute. Mr. Jordan here might like a lift with us. This would be such a happy new year if not for him. Monsieur Jordan, would it be any use to ask you once more? Okay, okay, so I'm as gullible as those screaming kids. The campfire, you probably started with kerosene, some tired old songs, and I fall for it. So I feel like a heel. There's still time. You could stop the story. I could, sure, but... I got behind, and this column's got to make the deadline. What can I write another column about in the next hour? Jordan, how about this? Sagebrush Sam marries in Paris before returning to Hollywood. Huh? Could you write that up? Could I? Is it Lizette? Well, I haven't really asked her yet. 
Oh, then please do. Well, will you? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Madame Sam Durand. Oh, now, please. Just plain Mrs. Sagebrush Sam. Uh, pardon, pardon. Uh, are you ready yet? The meter on my taxi is getting rusty. Well, then oil it up. It's a long way to Hollywood. It sure is, partner. Are you gone, partner? <laughs> This is Adolphe Mongeau again. I am sure there are a good many people, particularly if they happen to be prominent, like Sagebrush Sam, who would sympathize with his desire to get away from it all. And yet, Sam had his place. He was an idol, an embodiment of all that was wholesome to the youth of America. He was fortunate and didn't know it. The homespun American things he represented had begun to seem corny to him, and he wanted to get away. Well, this was just a story, but it's true and not fiction that too many of us too many people in this great country have gone off at a tangent precisely because the old values, the old American ways that made us strong, had come to be regarded as corny, unsophisticated. Not the least of the old American ways which family theater so constantly endeavors to promote is the custom of prayer, family prayer, recognizing that the family is the nucleus of society and not the mass man, and that ours has always been a God-fearing nation and not an atheistic one. That is sound American doctrine. And that is why Family Theater, dedicated to God and neighbor, re reiterates week after week its wonderful slogan, the family that prays together stays together. More things are wrought by prayer than this world dreams of. <laughs> From Hollywood, Family Theater has presented The Continental Cowboy. Adolf Manjou was your host. Others in our cast were John Stevenson as Sagebrush Sam, Gladys Holland, Ted DeCorsia, Jack Crucian, Jay Novello, and David Duval. The script was written by David Chantler, with music composed and conducted by Harry Zimmerman, and was directed for Family Theater by Joseph F. Mansfield. This series of family theater broadcasts is made possible by the thousands of you who feel the need for this type of program, by the mutual network which responds to this need, and by the hundreds of stars of stage, screen, and radio who give so unselfishly of their time and talent to appear on our family theater stage. To them and to you, our humble thanks. This is Tony Lofrano expressing the wish of family theater that the blessing of God may be upon you and your home and inviting you to join us next week when Family Theater will present Anne Blythe and Stephen McNally in World Without End. Join us, won't you? <laughs> Family Theater is broadcast throughout the world and originates in the Hollywood studios of the world's largest network. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System.